Eindhoven is a city located in the province of North Brabant in the Netherlands. Eindhoven is a very modern and unique looking city known for its high-tech industries and design. And it's definitely worth a visit when in the Netherlands. everyone, my name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland living in the Netherlands and welcome to this video. Today we are in the city of Eindhoven. This is my first time ever here and I'm very excited to explore a new city. This video is gonna be a little bit different because instead of being here for one full day exploring, I'm gonna be visiting Eindhoven three times in the coming two weeks, basically. So today I had to come here because I had a doctor's appointment and in two weeks time, I will have another doctor's appointment. And then there's one day when we're coming here together with my boyfriend, Ruhl, to spend some time with his aunt. I am now done with my appointment and I'm feeling a bit hungry. So I was thinking we could go and have some lunch or we, me, <laughs> I'm here by myself, but feels like I have company when I am filming and you guys are also virtually here with me. This shop is like in a glass igloo. Yeah, it looks really cool and modern. I'm really intrigued to go and check out what it looks like on the inside as well. it for today's short visit to Eindhoven but luckily I'll be soon here again and so I am back in Eindhoven Today we are not in the city center of Eindhoven, instead we are heading to an area known as Stripe S. This area is a former industrial site where the tech company Philips used to have their big factories to create things like radios and televisions. But in the year 1997 the Philips headquarters moved to Amsterdam. And since then Stripe S has been transformed into an area for residents and smaller companies. Today it's a creative hotspot filled with unique shops, working spaces, apartments and restaurants. Now we're just walking around the area, exploring, and it's a very 
like modern and hip, cool neighborhood and yeah, I'm really liking it. Maybe if you come to Eindhoven, you shouldn't just stay in the center, but also come to this area and check it out. We've now come to this like little shopping mall, but it's not like a traditional shopping mall, but it's basically all these small businesses here selling their things and everyone has like a really tiny space for themselves. They seem to sell a lot of like unique things here. Oh, there's even a barber shop apparently. Looks really cool. The Philips company was a huge employer and a lot of people moved to Eindhoven for work. These people then built their own neighborhoods where to live around the former factory areas. This played a huge factor in building up Eindhoven into the city that it is today. Really interesting to learn about how much the Philips company has actually shaped the city of Eindhoven. It's kind of crazy to think that just one company can have such a big influence on a city. But yeah, very, very interesting. We've now come to a big design shop where they mainly sell the items of Piet Hein Ick, a famous designer from Eindhoven. Here they sell a bunch of different things, furniture, watches, little decorations for your home and that kind of stuff, mostly by Piet van Hick. no Piet, Hick Ick. Oh no, now I forgot the name. And there's several levels here, and there's even a restaurant here, and showrooms here. And there's also the factory here where you can see people working. But today is a Sunday, so we can't actually see anyone working. But apparently the only person working today is Piet Hein Ick, so the main designer. And they do seem to sell also some things from other brands also. For example, I found... Fiskar scissors. So if you don't know, this is a Finnish brand and I'm from Finland. So it was fun to find something Finnish in here too. Pita and Eek's furniture don't seem to be very cheap though. <laughs> okay, guess how much this couch is worth? The answer is almost 15,000 euros. <laughs> Personally, I don't think I would ever pay that much for a couch. How much do I think this closet costs? I don't know, seeing everything else, maybe 10,000? <gasps> no. 58,000 euros. Maybe it's not crazy in the world of Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, but... In my world, it's crazy. Today I am back in Eindhoven for today's first activity. I thought we could continue with the Philips theme a bit. Let's go to the Philips Museum. The museum is located in the city center of Eindhoven and the entrance costs 11 euros. Here you get to learn more about the company and its history. The museum building itself is also where the first factory was. Philips was founded in 1891 and it first started as a company selling light bulbs. Since then Philips has grown into a hugely successful company with several important inventions, such as the electric razor and cassette player for example.
was really interesting, but now it's time to head towards our next destination of the day. And you can actually already see it here from the museum. It's that church over there. I have reached the Catherine church, but it seems like it's closed. Um, there seems to be a lot of confused people here trying to open the door, but it's locked. According to Google, it was supposed to be open. According to the sign, it's supposed to be open from 10 to 4.30. So yeah, that's a pity. I was really hoping to see it from the inside, but only the outside it is this time, I'm afraid. <laughs> St. Katharina Church is a Roman Catholic church, which was built from 1861 to 1867. I'm starting to get quite hungry, it is lunchtime, so let's go and get some food next. For lunch, I came to this funky looking food hall with lots of different food options. Everything here looks and sounds so good. I don't know what to choose. So you basically scan a QR code and then you order from your phone. So it's quite handy. And there seems to be a 40 cent service fee as well. It's paid and ordered. My food has arrived and oh my days, it looks so good. Amazing. So what's in here? There's noodles, fried spring roll, marinated mushrooms and cilantro. And then there's also a bunch of different veggies. Well, I think that food market is a great choice on where you could maybe go for lunch or dinner if you're in Eindhoven, especially if you're maybe with a bigger group and you can't decide on what to eat and everyone wants to eat a bit something different, then I think this food hall will be the perfect spot. to the cutest little dessert shop. I ordered myself this cheesecake and it's so pretty that I feel a bit bad about eating it. <laughs> and then I also ordered myself some tea. This is definitely the perfect Instagrammable spot if you're looking for that kind of place in Eindhoven. cheesecake is heavenly. It's so good. It like melts in your mouth. Last bite. Not to be dramatic, but I think this was honestly one of the best cheesecakes I've ever had. It was so good, like a 10 out of 10. So definitely if you're looking for a cute little dessert spot, you should come to this place.
Well, I am now on the train, but it's been a really lovely day in Eindhoven and also my two previous times here. I really enjoyed it. I must say I actually liked Eindhoven more than I thought I would. Not that I thought I wouldn't like it, but it did like surprise me in a positive way because I have heard a bit mixed things about it because it's a bit more modern and a bit different from like maybe typical Dutch cities. But I do think Eindhoven definitely has its own charm and it's very unique and has a lot to offer for sure. And there still would have been a bunch of things that I could have seen and done, but yeah, it's a bit impossible for me to do at all. But if you want to, I can maybe come back to Eindhoven someday. I would love to see the Eindhoven Glow Show. So every year in November, they have like a light show here, like outside. That would be amazing to see, but maybe next year. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next adventure. Bye bye.